F9. Well, Darth Rulford, I think you got me this time. I did. I took you out, Luke Leitenstein. Yes, indeed. I think, I think you are way, way too. I don't know. You like my mask? Ugly. What? You are I'm ugly. I'm part You look machine. like that Darth Maul guy from the story. Uh, he was red. This is a Mexican wrestling mask, man. I thought it was like you were like. You oh know, yeah, it Darth is my Rutherford. normal Darth Rutherfordness. I forgot. You're right. It is. Okay. Well, I think we should like learn about. Probably. Um... I am your uncle. Oh, not that. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Well. Oh, this is really uncomfortable. It is very take my too. Yeah, I'm kind of hot here. Uh -huh. you know, I think I'm gonna take off my jacket. Yeah. 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 All right, we're taking it off. Easy there. Hey, we got the peanut bag gallery back there. Okay, I think we're back to All regular right. deals here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we want to learn. Was that stupid or what? That was okay, great. It was wonderful. Okay, uh, podcast dom, seven dom, point one. Dom, dom, hey, we're gonna learn about. What are we going to learn about today? Uh, looks like some electromagnetic radiation. <laughs> which is better known as? Light. Light. Which is why we had light sabers, sabers. Yeah. for a fight. Yeah. For a fight. Yeah, and I fell down and he killed me. That was kind of not very good. Was okay. great? It was great. Okay. Be amazing actors. We are. should be stuntmen or something. That would be good, yeah. Yeah. yeah he I, might I, be able to pull that off. I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. That's All right. He was a stuntman. He taught math and he was a stuntman of part time. Wow. It's pretty crazy. I, I've never back known my, a stuntman. Back when I lived in California. Hey, but before, you know, we're not about light. Right? But light's kind of weird. Yeah. Because Why are we talking about light in a chemistry class? You know, because, well, there's a connection between light and matter. Oh, yeah. And so before we can talk about matter, we've got to talk a little bit about atoms. Yep. And um, we're going to start with an interesting question. How many atoms are in an orange? At least five. I think you're right. It's a little more than five. Okay. To get the idea, what you'd have to do is you'd have to take the... Um, well, how many ap apples? How many <laughs> atoms are in an orange? Lots. A lot. More than five, you think? Probably more than five. Probably more than five. Well, in order to see how many atoms are in orange, you have to take the orange and you pull it up to the size of the... Um, the uh, Earth? The Earth. And you know what's how big the atoms would be? Size of a normal orange? The size of a marble. A marble? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So think of the world filled with marbles. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of marbles. That's a lot of marbles. Especially including the ones I lost. Yes. You lost a few mm -hmm. on your Darth thing. So the marbles... Think of those, and that's how many atoms are in an orange. Wow. wow. That's a lot of atoms. That's a lot of atoms. Yeah. That, that, that is way more than five. That's way more than five. So that yeah. tells you something about atoms. It tells you that atoms are really, really small. They're small. Very tiny. I mean, like small. I mean, like way, 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 way. I mean, way small. How small? Way, way, okay. way, way small. Good to know. And secondly, something even odder about hmm. this whole atom, and yeah. we probably know this, is that um, if you took that marble that mm -hmm. was in the orange, mm -hmm which is really way, way, way small, mm -hmm. and you blew that marble up to the size of a football stadium. This is the Cowboys football stadium. Okay. So the marble being an atom? Yes, yeah, so now the marble is a football stadium. We blew the okay. marble so up. Okay, so we have an atom that's the size of a football stadium. Is yes. Right, marble? Okay. And you look inside that atom, and you try okay. to find the nucleus. All right. You know how big the nucleus would be? I'm guessing it's going to be the size of a marble. It's the size of a marble. So uh. right here in the center of the football stadium... Right there would right be a the marble. 50 yard, right above the 50 yard right line. Right above the 50 yard line. Suspended, think of a, a sphere the size of a football stadium. Wow. And it would be the size of a marble. So this little dot right here actually. And that's be, where most of the mass is, too, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Wow. Yeah, so what's what's out here? A whole lot of nothing. It's nothing. It's empty space. And some electrons kicking around. Yeah, there is some electrons, but they would be smaller than the yeah, marble it's like by 10,000 like times, a actually. Speck of. Confetti Dust. or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Oh, one more thing. We should say, how about the mass of atomic particles? Oh, yeah. That's good to know. They're kind of tiny. They are very. You know, since they're so tiny, how big are they? Well, the analogy, I should have had a picture. I didn't realize it. Is if you take one proton is to one, it's like a ratio, to one gram. Now, what one gram would be like the mass of what? Uh, paper clip. Sorry, buddy, this is a paper clip. There's your paper clip. One gram. This weighs about one gram. Actually, this is a larger paper clip. It's usually the smaller paper clips right here. Yeah. Okay. One gram is to one paper clip as one gram is to the mass of the Earth. Wow. I know. I know. It's a lot. So that gives you kind of a perspective that. So protons are. Very small. Very, very, very small. Okay. Hey, 
Now we're going to move on. So we've learned a little bit. Remo that was kind of review. I think some of you knew some of those ratios and proportions from last year. And you learned about atoms. So here, um, we're talking about light. And I know mm -hmm. this is what sounds kind of odd. That's the whole lightsaber thing. Mm -hmm. Is that we want to learn about how light is because it connects things to atoms. So light travels as a... As a wave. Of a wave. So like a wave. So what do you... So what do you got there, Mr. Sam? I just got my little slinky. Oh, yeah, and it's like a colored slinky. Yeah, colored slinky. Colored slinky. So I'm trying to sort of it's kind of It's like got it red, I see, orange, yellow, green, a blue, indigo, and violet. Yeah, <gasps> that's like the spectrum of colors. The funny thing, my three-year-old, when he sees a rainbow that's drawn in properly in a book, he goes, those colors are silly. They're not in the right place. Yeah. He knows the order. My three-year-old. He's three. Roy G. Bit. Yep. He's red, really orange, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Yep. All so right. get it right. Get him in the right order. Now we want to talk a little bit about the parts of a wave. Okay. Okay. Waves have properties. Yep. All right. They have wavelength, they have frequency, velocity, and amplitude. And so we're going to just have a blank screen here and draw a wave. Now you may be able to just label a diagram that folks you have in your in your book. Packet. Yep. In your packet. Now first of all, let's label the parts of a wave. The top of a wave is called the and the uh, peak or the crest. The crest. And the bottom of the wave is called the... Valley or a trough. Trough? I like that word. A trough. Looks like trog. Yeah. All right. Double and English. since it is, a, it is a wave, it is by definition traveling in a direction. direction mm -hmm. And it's a, got a velocity. And well, actually, let's give that a symbol. Call that V. All right. That makes sense, doesn't it? Now, what do you like to measure about waves? What are the two key things that are measured? Uh, frequency and wavelength. All right, so the first thing you can measure here is the length of the wave, and this is called the uh, wave, wave length. 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 Length of the wave. Now, it gets a funny symbol, though. It does. Scientists, lambda. It is the Greek letter lambda, and that's what it looks like. It's so, like a backwards H with a back A. Yeah, there you go. And so that's the lambda. The other thing that you can measure is the height of the wave. And the height of the wave is called the amplitude. amplitude. Now, you guys have experiments, experience with um, waves. Um, if you've got sound waves. Yeah, different right? kind of wave. So, for example, folks, I have my cell phone and we're playing some music. Now, what happens, what can you adjust when you're listening to so you music. can turn the volume up and down. You can turn the volume up. So if I turn the volume up, I just turned the volume down, didn't I? So what what did I just change? The amplitude of the wave. So if I can change the amplitude, doesn't change the pitch though, right? Nope. Now if you were to change the pitch of the wave, if you were to change the pitch of the wave, what would that do? Change in the frequency. Which would do what from a sound perspective? Uh it makes it go up or down. Kind of like, woo, woo. Right. So a low frequency wave is like uh, this. You're better that than I am. And a high frequency wave is like this. That hurt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of funny thing. Yeah, it did. So that's how. But if you change the amplitude, you just turn the volume up, so to speak. Yeah. Now in light, what you're doing, if you amp up the 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 amplitude, amplitude. Amp, amp it up. up. There you go. It will make it brighter. Yeah, change the intensity of it. But if you change the wavelength or the frequency of light, what does that do? Then you're changing the color. Yeah, so wavelength, lambda, is actually the color. So it's actually a number. It's how long the wave is tells you what color the wave is, right. so to speak. And in the visible spectrum, we're dealing in nanometers, usually you know, roughly 500, uh, actually less than that. Oh, and one other thing we should yeah, say about the velocity here is that light has a specific velocity, and it's 3.0 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That is called the, wait, it's the light, the light's velocity, right? Yeah. So, so it's the speed that the, the light speed. is traveling. So, so that's called the speed, speed of, of light. light. So this is called the speed. The speed of light. What was that? I don't know. It's kind of like Marvin the Martian on the old Looney Tunes. Now, scientists use the speed of light, and they give a particular symbol for it, and C. it's C. 